hate for the American people. If you disregard who I am, El Royale, if you disregard me saying that I'm American, I'm not black or African American, I'm not a Moor, I am an American, if you disregard that, that's hate. That's treason, really. I mean, it is what it is. It's a hate crime. You see, we are the American people. You know, this is how I know you hate. Right here. I don't know if you can see that. But this that's how I know you hate me. You dig? Right there. I'm going to read it to you. It says, if we, this is George Washington, right? This is what George Washington said. He was, he's the one that started the Freemasons. Those guys. Right? If you're a Freemason, you treasonous to me. You treasonous to the American people. If we would agree to take the fizzes and turbans. See, this is a fizz with a turban. Fences and turban off the Moors' heads and remove the sandals from their feet and enforce severe punishments and to also swear a death oath between ourselves to religiously and faithfully not to allow anyone to teach the Moorish children who they really were or who their forefathers were and only allow the Moorish children to be taught that they were truly Negroes, black people, and colored folks. 200 years from today, the Moorish people would not know their nationality, nor the na national name of their forefathers, the Els, the Bays, the Ali's, the Muhammad's, the Al's. Also, they would not know from which land or ancestors they, that they are descended from. You see, <clears throat> this is, the United States school system teaches you treason. You see, this land has been mentally wiped of who we really are. Oh, it's written down but they don't talk about it. You see, that's their whole thing. They swore a death oath. That's hate. The same people that you signed the Constitution with, the same people that you signed the 1786 Treaty of Peace and Friendship with, you took a death oath not to talk about them, to wipe away the memory of who they are. That's the reason why you made the movie Roots. You see, you hate us. This is hate. Throwing us in prisons, killing us on the street like dogs. You hate the American people. You, 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 you know, you signed the 1880 Treaty of Madrid to protect us, and you kill us, saying you were in fear of your life from us. You see, you beat us, talking about is to protect you. 
you putting handcuffs on us and throwing us in cages, saying it's to protect us from who? You see, we need to be protected from you. United States politicians, anyone calling us black or African-American, we need to be protected from you. You are evil. You hate us. Anyone that calls us, the American people, black, African-American, anyone that would take an oath, a, take a death oath to deny us of who we are. You hate us. That's a hate crime. If you took that death oath, that's a hate crime. If you saying we black or African American or any of that stuff, that's a hate crime. I don't, it doesn't matter what you think, what you believe. It doesn't matter about your opinion. It's the law. It's the law. You see, in, as an American that lived most of his life believing, believing, understand, I said believing what you say, instead of reading the law, yes, it's my fault. Now that I know the law, now that I've read the law, now that I've read what you wrote, 1933, House Resolution 75, what you wrote, Title 18, 8 U.S.C. 1324, now that I've read what you wrote, you are treasonous. You are a genocidal maniac. You hate the American people. You call us aliens. Wow. We're called aliens. The American people are called aliens on their land. We're alien to the United States, huh? Uh, that's the thing. If you wrote down who we are, politicians, Department of Justice, if you know who we are, why are you calling us black and African-American? Why are you using the color of law? That's a hate crime. That's against the law. That's a hate crime to call us black and African-American and you wrote down who we are. But if you took this death oath, then you need to get off this land. You need to go back to your country of origin immediately if you took this death oath. You're committing treason on this land. And as an American, I don't care. You don't care. You hate my people. You hate my people. Anyone calling my people black, or African-American, that's a hate crime. It is what it is. It's law. You should have never signed the Constitution. You should have never signed the 1786 Treaty of Peace and Friendship. How is that friendship when you're purposely calling us black and African-American on your TV, your radio, your paperwork. No, we're not consenting to anything. You made that up. So how can we consent to something that you made up? That's treason altogether right there. To actually make up something. <laughs> to trick us into committing treason against ourselves. Wow. That's the purest evil I've ever heard in my life. And you're saying we're consenting to your evil, to your hate. We're consenting to your hate crimes. <laughs> that's, that's the pinnacle of hate, to tell us that we are consenting to your hate crimes. 
Really? You see, I understand the law now. I didn't at first. Most of my people would argue with me about what I'm saying because they don't know. They go off their beliefs. They go off their opinions. They go off what you told them. You see, and clearly you hate us. You hate my people. You hate me. If you call me black or African-American, that's a hate crime to me. An American C, 197 L. Royale. Right. Since there's no prime minister for the People's Republic of Morocco, I'm the prime minister for the People's Republic of Morocco, for all of a maximum, north and south. Since you say there is not one, I'm that self-proclaimed prime minister, El Royal. Now, send me an email. The debt that's owed to us is over $30 trillion since 1933. Now, you have to be a fool to believe that we're holding that much money and not spending it. You have to be totally insane. So... For all the people around the world, all the governments, all the prime ministers, all of the kings, all of the queens around the world, you have to be a fool to believe the Europeans telling you that we're holding the debt, $30 trillion. Now, to anyone, to this is to anyone that can actually break down the United States codes and how the American people can get the debt that's owed to us, that $30 trillion, I will personally give you $10 million of my own money, buy you a house and a car. You won't have to work ever for the rest of your life. If you show me how to get the estates that the United States are holding for the American people, this is to anybody around the world. Email me. Right. Only thing you got to do, leave your email on my comment. Because what's going on on this land that they call the United States, that they call America, what's going on on this land, the People's Republic of Morocco? It's insane. It's insane. And it's all because of the lies, the oath that they took not to talk about who we are and keep us from what's really ours. <laughs> you are some evil. The hate crimes that are being committed against us by the politicians, the television networks is astronomical. It's really unbelievable the hate that's being spewed out on this land, calling us black and African-American, making the movie Roots, saying that we come from Africa, we come from slavery. That's hate. That's really hate. You hate us. You do not at all have any kind of humanity in you if you continue to call us black African-American, claim we come from slavery, claim we come from Africa, Claim we came here on boats. You hate us, the American people. Plain and simple. And you need to go back to your country of origin. Civil Orders, July 4th, 2014. Look it up. 
United Nations Department of Justice. Knowing the law, knowing the hate crimes that are being committed on this land by the Europeans, by the colonizers, by the politicians, by the police, by the school system, knowing the hate that I was taught is despicable. It's despicable. You need to go. You need to go back to where your ancestors came from if you continue with the hate crimes that you've been committing against us. If you took this death oath, you need to go back to your country of origin and never talk about us. Understand that. You hate us. The color of law, the rule of law. You hate us by using that against us. And you know you hate us. So, to the rest of the world, just understand, I am Prime Minister L. Royal C. 197-36715, American. Everything that I speak on my YouTube channel is law, per law, I am American.